is kind of an interesting one. Suzuki calls it the new standard of sport, which is a bit of a play on words because this comes from the GSX-8S platform that uh, we rode last year, which is a standard. It's a naked bike and it was well reviewed, but I didn't get a chance to ride it. So I was excited to ride this one because it's mostly the 8S, but it's the GSX-8R. So it's more of a sportier bike. Got some fairing panels. I think it's a really attractive job they did with it. Some nice colors too. There's this blue one, also a screaming yellow one, and a uh, very tasteful silver one, which I also like. So they took the GSX-8S, made it a little bit sportier. One of the primary differences, distinctions, is uh, new forged aluminum handlebars that place your hands about two inches lower than the 8S uh, tubular style handlebar. And that gives it a little bit of more sporting crouch, but it's still quite comfortable. It, it's, you're quite upright on it. Yesterday we did a whole bunch of riding on the roads in some rain and some cold and some crappy road conditions. This has trash control and ABS, but it does not have an IMU, so no cornering ABS but it does have a really stout set of brakes. They're Nissan uh, radial mount calipers, so they're a good strong set of brakes, and they almost feel like they have uh, braided brake lines here at the track where I'm getting heavily into it. There's good feedback, and it feels really solid at lever, and just as impressive on the street when we're riding through some damp roads. Uh, there were times I just wanted to bleed off just a little bit of speed, and some modern brakes they're a little bit grabby. This one you could apply just a little bit of pressure and so to be able to do a racetrack and very careful street riding in the rain, uh, these brakes are excellent for what this bike is. It does uh, have a quick shifter with an auto blipping down shifter function which is nice. So riding on the roads, I'm kind of comfortable on this. You get some wind protection, uh, nice uh, leg protection as well from the wind which uh, makes it a comfortable ride on the street. And the seat was quite comfortable as well. I could do some long miles on this bike. Got the windshield taking a little bit of wind blast off your body, and it's not really leaned over like a typical sport bike, so hence the new standard of sport. So a lot of bikes will do kind of okay on the street. Uh, a lot of bikes don't do as well when you take a comfortable street bike, sport bike, and take it to the track. And we're at Chuck Walla Valley Raceway, and the bike, has no suspension adjustment aside from rear preload. That kind of worried me. I thought, oh God, I, I don't want a cheap suspension on my bike. And the incredible thing was on the street, it performed really well. It was well balanced, comfortable, sucked up the bumps. And then here on the track where you'd normally be adding clicker adjustments and stiffen it up, it's in the same condition I rode it at in the street. And uh, after my first long session, I came into the pits and the Suzuki engineers are asking me, oh, what did, I, what did I think of the bike? And I told them it's really friendly. It allowed me time to you know, keep my eyes up and hunt down the right lines. And uh, they said, oh, well, how about the suspension? And I was like, I didn't even think about the suspension once during that session. And so it took me another session to go out and hone in on the suspension. And indeed, there is nothing wrong with the suspension. If you're going to be a racer, sure, you'll want to, you know, stiffen it up, put on maybe a different shock or fork tuning. But for, a, you know, a track day person, it's just fine. The only limiting factor on the track is ground clearance. I was grinding some foot pegs and a little bit of my toes, but if you're going to be a fast guy at a track day, some different foot rests would solve that easily. The 8R also has a nice cockpit. Uh, it has a TFT instrumentation, very easy to read. It's a little bit low in your line of sight, so you got to look down a bit, but very clear and easy to navigate the menus through with, with the switch gear. It's pretty simple and easy to figure out, which I like. Very friendly. The motor is a key part of that. It's Suzuki's first all new engine in uh, many years. It came out in the uh, V-Strom 800, the DL 800. And this is my first crack at it. Came in on the 8S and now the 8R. It's a very friendly engine. It's got power everywhere. So gear selection isn't really critical because it has a wide spread of power. The only downside, especially it showed at the track was that at the top end, you wish it would like surge to the red line of 10,000 RPM or so, and it just kind of gets there. 
So lots of mid-range, and I found short shifting about 1,000 RPM earlier than Redline uh, actually improved my speed down the straightaway. So, you know, it's not the most exciting engine, but it is a very useful engine, and on the street, it's really hard to beat. Always use more power, especially on the track, but for the price of $9,439, there's a lot of value in this. It's almost like the GSX-1000 GT in that it can be like a GT bike. You could sport tour on this quite easily. And then when you want to get your yayas out, you could head down to your local track day. You don't even have to throw it in the back of a truck. You could just ride it there and have a bunch of fun on it. Uh, there's a lot of fast racer guys here and they're all having a blast on this bike. So there's a lot of capability for the price. And maybe the best thing about it is it looks good. I don't know how your eyes are seeing it, but I think this is a good looking motorcycle and uh, it's comfortable, it's capable, it's friendly, and it's quite fast. So there's a lot of value in the Suzuki GSX-8R. And uh, I think that a lot of people are gonna be happy with this motorcycle. But for the full story, you'll wanna go to Rider Magazine or ridermagazine.com. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, make a comment, let us know what you think of uh, the value proposition in the GSX-8R. Thank you.